Do this in remembrance of me. Every communion service concludes with those words, do this in remembrance of me. Tonight, as we celebrate Monday Thursday worship, I want to take a moment and look at the theology of communion. You know, Monday, Monday Thursday literally means remembrance. Monday is to remember. And we take a moment every year during Holy Week on Thursday night to remember the Last Supper, the Passover that Christ celebrated before his betrayal, trial, and death on the cross. Christ said, after taking common elements, the bread and the cup, and sharing them with his disciples, do this in remembrance of me. And in fact, Communion should be done in remembrance of, of Christ. It is his last supper, and what we do is relive those moments to remember. But it's more important than just that. There's more theology and meaning behind that. At communion, we remember what Christ did, but we are actually nourished in our faith and in our discipleship. Communion also binds us with Christians of all times and all places. I wanted to take a moment and 
read to you from the Presbyterian Church's Book of Order. This is our Constitution. And in the part that deals with worship, the Directory for Worship, it writes of the theology of the Reformed tradition regarding communion. The Lord's Supper enacts and seals what the Word proclaims. God's sustaining grace is offered to all people. The Lord's Supper is at once God's gift of grace, God's means of grace, and God's call to respond to grace. Through the Lord's Supper, Jesus Christ nourishes us in righteousness, faithfulness, and discipleship. Through the Lord's Supper, the Holy Spirit renews the church in its identity and sends the church to mission in the world. When we gather at the Lord's Supper, the Spirit draws us into Christ's presence and unites us with Christ in every time and in every place. We join with all the faithful in heaven and on earth in offering thanksgiving to the triune God. We reaffirm the promises of our baptism and recommit ourselves to the love and service of God and to one another and to our neighbors in the world. Communion is reliving the Lord's Supper. It is participating in God's grace, but it unites us together as well. You know, it hasn't always been done in churches and cathedrals. In fact, in the early church, communion was done in people's homes. When people gathered, they would share a meal. Paul wanted to make sure that we remembered at our meals the gift of Christ. He wanted to be sure that the food that we ate would nourish our souls and equip us for ministry. Today, we are in an incredibly unique time. We are sequestered in our homes. We are isolated. But make, make no mistake, we are still the church. We are brothers and sisters in Christ with Christians all across this globe. In this moment, as we remember what Christ did, we have the opportunity to be a witness, to have our faith nourished. In just a moment, Pastor Dana is going to lead us in communion, and I encourage you to take a piece of bread and a sip from a, a cup, maybe a sip of wine or a sip of grape juice, and to remember the gift of Jesus Christ and to let the Spirit nourish your soul and also know that through the Holy Spirit you are not united with Christians who are in their homes all across this globe. We are the church. And like the early church that often had to hide in their homes because of tremendous persecution, we will not be defeated by this moment or this virus. We, in fact, will be bound together by our sacrament, and we will be bound together as brothers and sisters in Christ. Folks, I hope tonight at home on Monday, Thursday, you will celebrate the Lord's Supper. Amen. Friends, as we gather around this table that Jesus has set before us, we do so remembering that Jesus knows full well the dark days in which we walk. We remember as we gather around this table tonight that we do so with the power of the Holy Spirit. And as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we are being nourished, nourished in our faith, nourished for the journey that we have before us. As we gather today, Jesus invites all who believe in him to come and be nourished and fed here at his table. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Please pray with me. Gracious and most holy God, it is in you that we live and move and have our being. 
It is in you that we find out who we are. So God, in these moments, we pray that you would nourish us by this bread and by this cup that is your body and blood. We pray, God, that you would call us back to you. Help us to see how we have strayed. And help us to remember that as we gather around your table, that you've set this table before us because you love us. Because you are offering yourself. Because you would like for us to be nourished for the journey, strengthened in our faith. And you would like for us to have a deep relationship with you that as we gather around your table, we would see more clearly who you are. Gracious God, in these moments, we ask that you would bless this cup and this bread, that as the cup that we bless and the bread that we partake is truly your body and blood. And God, we pray that you would unite us with Christ. We pray that you would unite us with all of those that believe in his name, that we might be the body of Christ for the world. God, we pray that you would nourish us, grant us peace, show us your way, and continue to walk with us on this journey. We pray this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Our words of, in words of institution tonight come from Luke. When the hour came, he reclined at the table and the apostles with him. Then he said to them, I have fervently desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took the cup, and after giving thanks, he said, Take this and share it among yourselves. For I tell you, from now on, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, gave it to them, and said, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Tonight, we gather around the table of our Lord, the table that Jesus has set before us. We gather and we break bread. And we pray that God would nourish our faith, Strengthen us for our journey. And we also take the cup and remember that it is the new covenant in Christ's blood poured out for us for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever we eat this bread and drink this cup, we are proclaiming the saving death of our risen Lord until he comes again. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Come. For all is prepared. 